Hey guys, Nick Espinoza, your chief security fanatic here, and today I want to talk about something rather interesting because there's some new technology out that will help us catch things like deep fakes and artificial intelligence when it's posting things like fake news. Now, a joint research effort by Harvard and the MIT IBM Watson AI lab has literally generated a new tool for spotting text that has been generated by another artificial intelligence. In other words, you've got an AI that is looking for other AI generated information. Now, this is obviously very important because we have misinformation everywhere. We have a lot of things now that thanks to artificial intelligence that can generate fake news. We are talking about you know something minor like let's say a college student just using a, a term paper generator you know, to Twitter bots, to like, you know, fake news and hyperbole for misinformation in a voter campaign. Uh, you know, this could be things like, uh, you know, you're dating or let's say you're online dating and you're chatting with somebody and uh, he or she maybe sounds too good to be true. And maybe they are, maybe they're a bot from overseas trying to get money out of you. And so I think this actually is a, a very interesting tool. Now it is called the Giant Language Model Test Room or GLTR. And I'll actually post a link uh, if I can in the comments or wherever I can, you can go and check this out yourself. You can copy paste text and see if it is generated or not. Now, what's interesting is they basically took a whole bunch of students um, you know, from Harvard to see if they could identify AI generated text versus uh, what the tool could do. Now, these Harvard students were able to identify uh, AI generated text about 50% of the time or so. So it's pretty much a coin toss if you're gonna be able to see the AI, uh, the, the fake news, if you will, or not. Now, when they use this tool, that actually jumped to over 70%. It was around 72%. And I quote Sebastian German, who is a PhD student that was working on this. And I quote, our goal is to create human and AI collaboration systems. So in other words, what this is developing is a tool that we could use to identify everything that I just mentioned before. Now imagine having some kind of app that, you know, as soon as you, let's say, pop open news, you know, let's say it comes to a current presidential election, which is what my radio show is on this week about how our election security is a joke, maybe something like this could start looking at, let's say, all the hyperbolic news out there and telling us if this has a high probability or low probability of actually being just simply generated to give us disinformation. So I think that's a very interesting uh, thing that they're developing. And again, like I said, I will post the link, uh, you know, in the comments below. And uh, I, I hope you guys check it out because I think it's absolutely fascinating to play with. And please like, share, follow me here on Facebook and Twitter at Nick AESP. And as always, stay safe and stay online. Thanks, guys.